have more breaking updates coming in. In fact, on camera, this is extremely chilling. On camera, you can see the fridge that uh, has had been used. This is where the chopped body parts had been stored and uh, this is the fridge that had been used by the murderer. So this could provide very, very important details. Remember, forensic experts will also be called in. Uh, the body had been chopped into several pieces and had been stored in a fridge. So the fridge has been... Uh, can be seen here and this is going to be very very crucial in the case so Imran this is very important like we mentioned forensics uh, would also be coming in and this is going to be a very important part of the evidence in the case all right we seem to have uh, lost the line with Imran there we'll go back to him in just a moment but the fridge this is where the girl was found she, her body being chopped into several pieces like we mentioned the police officials are investigating to find out whether there was anyone who entered the home they're also looking at the cctv visuals in any place close to her residence she was living in a one bedroom house so they're looking at any cctv that was available on any of the shops on the main road any clues at all that they can get in at this moment but um, the victim the visuals on your screens this is of the victim her dead body was uh, retrieved from a house. Uh, she has been identified as Mahalakshmi and her body was chopped into several pieces, uh, said to be about 32 pieces and stored inside this uh, refrigerator. But let's put out this image as well. Uh, and uh, this is the fridge that had been used in the murder. The visuals that you're seeing on the screens uh, is where the body had been stored. Remember, her phone had been switched off. So the police officials are also clutching at clues uh, to find out any details at all that they can about her. Uh, Imran, this is very, very chilling. As we were just mentioning, her body had been cut into several pieces and put in a fridge. And this is going to be a very vital clue with forensics also coming in to find out who the murderer could be. The, the, the cops are looking at the, uh, the official team will identify any kind of fingerprints or uh, um, weapon material use is what uh, this will uh, substantial clue will be as to how, uh, how this woman was uh, in a, killed in a very, very brutal manner. At the moment, they are investigating and uh, the cops feel that uh, there could be six to seven people who they are questioning about this particular incident, but they are not able to pinpoint exactly who or round up on one person. So as we speak, the matter is still an investigation. But the uh, but the very very brutal murder has shocked not just the city of Bangalore but across the but across the state. And especially, it's a grim reminder of what happened to the Delhi incident. Absolutely, and uh, uh, we're seeing the visuals on the screens as well. This is uh, from her residence. Her body had been chopped up and had been put in the fridge. Imran, any more details in the case? Because some of the reports also suggesting that her phone had also been switched off and uh, the police officials are only tracing what happened before. So they're looking at the possibility that perhaps she was murdered several days before. 